Business and Leisure, your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life. Hosted by Mr. Ray Butchkamboa. Hello to everyone. Welcome to the perfect combination of business and a good life. This is Business and Leisure, your weekly business and lifestyle electronic magazine, where we bring you the week's significant business developments and the current trends in the world of leisure. This week, however, we will again veer away from our regular episode as we continue our series on special year-end presentations for all our viewers. Last week, we aired part one of these two-part series on the wonderful discoveries that we shared with you for the year 2017 on Business and Leisure segment places. We had a resort and hotel, specialty stores, but mostly great finds in the restaurant and bar scenes. Brace yourselves now for part two of this short series as we bring you more good tidings on the lifestyle front. So stay where you are as we shall start right away after this short break. Be right back. Control with a new Isuzu D Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D Max, tough enough for anything. SM All of Asia is inviting you all to witness the most magical and spectacular Christmas parades in the country. The Grand Festival of Lights. Catch your favorite Santa's magical friends Leo the Lion, Cyril the Squirrel, Ellie the Elephant, Benny the Bunny, Jerry the Giraffe, Haley the Hippo, Mackie the Monkey, and Hannah the Panda. Make your way to the North and South Arcades of Esimal of Asia every Saturdays of December, 5.30 p.m. Bring your whole family and friends. Merry Christmas! Welcome back to Business and Leisure as we start with the second of a series of special year-end presentations. This is the second of a two-part collage of BNL's recommended leisure destinations for 2017 featured on our most viewed segment places let's now start off with megawatt sobremesa chef ox lime and poke shot we are really going places in this segment and from busy Katipunan Street in Quezon City last week where Nina Fusion and Wind Lounge is located, we now go to the Mandaluyong area for this find. This is Megawatt, our latest discovery in Food Row. Megawatt prides itself for being the first restaurant to have amenities inspired by no less than an actual power plant. Joyce Esteban is co-owner of Megawatt and explained that the concept came about after some of the owners visited a power plant in Mindanao that is powered by solar panels. We have um, panels here, tapos partially pinap yung lights namin and yung mga small appliances powered by panels. The minimalist interiors show off the power plant effect from the tables up to the ceiling. It is located on the second floor of a building housing a car wash, which is where they get most of their customers. Note also the unique collectibles which they sell in this restaurant. Actually, marami kaming good feedback ngayon about sa 
food namin and yung pagiging uh, yung yung idea mismo of having a restaurant beside a car wash. Now it's time to check out their power drinks served in bulk jars and their other best sellers. We have our um, ube milkshake which is 158 pesos and you can take home the bulk jar as well. Then we also have the black currant iced tea. This is only 88 pesos. This is a house blend iced tea. Then meron tong, uh, we have our very own black currant taste. Dito. So this is one of our best seller which is roast beef burrito. So I believe yung isang full nito hindi ko kayang ubusin. So for me this is good for two na. Then it has the same burrito ingredients, the rice, yung gulay natin, yung mga spices, then the roast beef. What's special about our roast beef is this is oven baked beef. So kami mismo yung nag um, nagbe bake nito overnight para malambot na malambot siya talaga. And guys, for our warm ups, this is the best seller that we have. This is called the Megawatt Platter. It composed of all our warm ups in one plate. So this is the onion rings, the chicken pops, the mozzarella tots, and our signature fries with our signature dips. This is the, the 12 spice chicken of Megawatt. So this is um, boneless thigh po na chicken. And you can choose for the fries or waffles or rice on the side. So for our pizza, I have here the hand-tossed uh, bolt meter pizza. So this is all meat, pepperoni, angus meat, um, ham, and bacon. That was Megawatt Restaurant and from here we drive over to the Ortigas area where another wonderful find awaits us. Sobremesa. If one were to translate it in Spanish, that would mean about the table, which is about tells us what this restaurant is all about. Businessman Harvard Uy is one of the owners of Sobremesa and he is here to tell us more about their unique cuisine. Sobremesa is actually a Latin American inspired Filipino restaurant. So we have bits and pieces of Latin American food and of course Filipino. So we didn't want to uh, deviate so much from what we like as Filipinos into a Latin American uh, restaurant. They opened in November of 2015 here at Sapphire Road in Ortigas, a largely business and residential area with some 40 buildings that comprise their potential clientele. The restaurant can accommodate 50 inside and another 40 outside for those who prefer to have al fresco dining. Here's Harvard with their specialties. We have our best-selling cheesecake. This is our mango version. Uh, it has uh, almonds, it has uh, coconut, and of course, uh, fresh mangoes on top of our very, uh, shall I say, um, uh, soft, uh, creamy uh, cheesecake. And then we have our other version of our dessert. We call it lecheroon. It's a combination of leche flan and macaroon put together. We call this pork hock. It is like a crispy pata, but more like a South American type of thing. It comes with a mango salsa. Then we have our best-selling Peruvian spiced chicken. Uh, it comes with three different dips. So we have the chimichurri, we have the jalapeno, and we have the sour cream. It, and then we have our another uh, recipe of our chef. This is, this, this is what we call the bulalo estofado. Uh, it's basically bulalo, but made sweeter, a little bit uh, on the spice side, and the beef is very, very tender. We call this the arroz con mariscos. This is basically uh, chicken uh, with different, uh, with chorizo. It also has vegetables and of course, our rice. Yeah. As Harvard Uy says, if you can't go to South America, they brought their cuisine right here at Sobra Mesa. We are open every day, starting at 11 a.m. So uh, we hope to see you here at Sobre Mesa. That was Sobre Mesa, specializing in South American cuisine with a Pinoy twist. And from there, we go on to Mandaluyong City for this one. This is Chef Arches Lime, located at 160 San Rafael Street in Barangay Plainview, Mandaluyong City. Actually, the name alone has intrigued many. Our idea is street food with a twist, so we just associated it with the lime. Uh, Chef Arches Lime was started by a group of friends who just wanted to, to hang out 
or would just love to hang out and um, eat. Opened in July 2007, the restaurant is informal and homey. They actually converted an ancestral home into this restaurant and before long, the residents of the immediate community began to embrace it for its homey ambiance and familiar cuisine. The idea is actually is to, to have a place which serves um, street food with a twist, to, to give clean and presentable street food. The bartender we heard makes some mean margaritas here that many go back for. Here's Chef Mark with their best sellers. First off, we have the barbecue platter, a big serving of the more popular Pinoy street food. Check out chicken feet, the crispy intestines cured for easy eating. Here is the balut in red wine sauce. The much-loved balut is breaded and sits in a reduction of red wine. They also have another version of their balut, here show in a creamy white sauce. Next, they came out with a pizza, hot from the oven. Of course, all the good Pinoy street food can also be found here as topping. Recognize the chicharon bulaklak? All of these sitting on top of a load of creamy cheese. And here's their roast pork, sliced and all ready for the eating. The skin is crispy but the meat under the skin is tender and juicy. It comes with two sauces, the popular lechon sauce and a vinegar dip. And lastly, here is their quail eggs tempura that also comes with two dips. Check out the fluffy white clouds that envelope the also very popular quail eggs inside. Pinoy street food will never go out of fashion, as Chef Arch's Lime has proven. Here's Chef Mark with his personal invite. I would like to invite you to visit us at Chef Arch's Lime. It's at 160 San Rafael Street, uh, Barangay Plainview, Mandaluyong City. From Chef Arch's Lime's popular street food, we fly all the way to Hawaii. Figuratively, that is, to enjoy their unique cuisine. Poke may be unfamiliar to us, but not to the people of Hawaii where the dish is loved by everyone in the island. Poke kasi is our main dish here. This is what we wanted to focus on. Pokes are uh, marinated raw fish. Uh, originally, it came from Hawaii. Parang it was the, uh, the go-to dish for fishermen. Michael Alegre, owner of Pokey Shack, is credited with starting the Pokey craze here in Manila. Pokey is convenient, fast, and easy to eat, so it has become quite familiar, especially with the office workers. Pokey Shack is actually a small, cozy restaurant, and because their clientele keeps growing every day, Michael recommends takeouts and deliveries, especially if you're from the Pasig, Eastwood, and Ortigas areas. They have incorporated Japanese and Korean cuisine into their food offerings here as well. And for those who do not particularly care for raw food, they have their Asian cuisine to offer. Our gateway poke, as we call it, is the, the shack standard. It's our basic poke for anyone who's only about to try their first one, first bowl. Salmon sriracha, which is uh, our salmon-based Poke here in Poke Shack. Another one of our best sellers, especially for those who don't like raw, who prefer their food cooked, is the Santorini Shawarma. It's Greek chicken. That's uh, the theme. And then another best seller of ours is the Jeju chicken. It's crispy chicken with sweet bonchon sauce. Uh, favorite dish here in the Poke Shack is the uh, tuna tataki. It's tuna and seared, seared on the outside with uh, black and white sesame seeds. We also have here our California tuna bowl, which is our take on the California mahi. It's basically a deconstructed California mahi, and you can. And this one is with noodles because you can choose either rice noodles or salad as base. And here we have a salad-based one, 
uh, applied to our Mediterranean catch. Our Mediterranean catch is uh, a combination of tuna and salmon. It's very, the sauce is very subtle and you can really taste the, uh, the fish. Their bowls are certainly value for money, but for those small eaters, they do have half orders like their croquettes and their fried rolls. Come visit us at Poke Shack here at Robinson's Terra Tower. We're along C5 Libis. It's a one-turn detour and you will have no problem looking for parking. There's plenty of parking here. There you have it, the pokey food craze that can be eaten at Pokey Shack or take your pick. Go for takeout or have it delivered. That was just four of our numerous discoveries on the places segment of Business and Leisure. When we come back, we continue with more delectable restaurants. So please, stay stuck. When you sweat to be sweet and you clean our seat, it's love. It's love. When you try to look cool, but you look like a fool, it's love. It's love. It's love. It's love. Show your love with the new features of the all new Innova. Love the journey. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all new. Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. of Asia is inviting you all to witness the most magical and spectacular Christmas parades in the country. The Grand Festival of Lights. Catch your favorite Santa's magical friends Leo the Lion, Cyril the Squirrel, Ellie the Elephant, Benny the Bunny, Jerry the Giraffe, Haley the Hippo, Mackie the Monkey, and Hannah the Panda. Make your way to the North and South Arcades of Esimal of Asia every Saturdays of December, 5.30 p.m. Bring your whole family and friends. Merry Christmas! Welcome back and you're still with us here on one of Business and Leisure series of year-end specials. The third quarter of the year saw more dining places with a variety of offerings. From popular Pinoy street food to international favorites like Hawaiian and Brazilian comfort food. Brace yourself for more as we go into the third quarter of 2017. This time around, we found ourselves again in the cool mountains of Antipolo. Famous for the Hinulugang Taktak and of course the perennial favorites of Sumansa Ibos and Roasted Kasui. Many restaurants have since come up in this cool city and we're about to check out one of them right now. Business and Leisure checked out these new restaurants and discovered this cute restaurant that honors a long-lost but much-loved tradition. This is District Comics Restaurant. The restaurant features the much-loved comic characters of Archie, Jughead, Veronica, and Betty, as well as other characters of our childhood like Popeye and the superheroes of Marvel and DC Comics. The walls are plastered with these comic books that were kept in mint condition. It is run by Chef Luis Reyes and his mom who worked as a chef in a private yacht. Since bata ako, nakita ko na yung collection niya na Archie and then nagpop nga yung Marvel Comics and then DC Comics dito nga sa Philippines. So naisip namin, why not build a restaurant na ganun yung theme. The restaurant's ambiance is fun, playful, their cuisine simple and hip. 
Um, so, meron kami silogs na uh, tapa, chicken, and paris. Um, dun sa iba kasi hindi nila alam talaga kung what is paris. So, yung paris namin is beef na pinakuloan hanggang lumambot ng sobra with soy sauce and star anise. They have the famous salog, so they're all served with a fried egg and sinangag. The tapa that sells for 85 pesos, the chick silog with a big portion of crispy fried chicken that sells for 95 pesos, and the pares that sells also for 85 pesos. We also have our tuyo pasta with salted egg uh, and olives. So oil-based pasta siya, topped with tuyo and salted egg. This oil-based pasta has big slices of flavorful tuyo, fillets, and sells for 120 pesos. Tapos we have our carbonara. Hindi siya yung typical carbonara kasi pinatop namin siya with some adobo flakes. Everybody loves carbonara, but this one is with a Pinoy twist. What with the adobo flakes? It sells for 120 pesos also. And so, hindi naman matatapos yung antipolo trip without the famous suman na coated with chicharron and kasoy with a simple sugar glaze. Who will go to Antipolo without eating its famous suman? This dessert sells for 50 pesos only. From a hectic eating spree, perhaps the time is right to relax the mind and body. De-stress, if you will. And here's the perfect place for that. Home Ritual is a wellness center with a heart that is owned and run by Michelle Lazaro, a self-styled entrepreneur. Shelly Lazaro, who used to run a distribution business offering natural spa products, runs Home Ritual Spa. Home Rituals is also strong in areas of education and skills training. We want all therapies to be treated as medical professionals. We offer premium services, so our, our pricing is also a little bit premium. But again, everything goes back to the community. Home Rituals is a full-service spa catering to the face, nails, and the full body. They have a full buffet of wellness products that are all natural. This is the treatment room. And this is the nail care therapy room that features nail vitamins and expert therapists. Home Rituals is located at White Plains and many of their clients come from the different exclusive villages in the vicinity. That was a refreshing and invigorating break that we could all use. Now we bring you to a specialty restaurant in White Plains, Quezon City that specializes in Vietnamese food. This is Bawai's Vietnamese Kitchen, a restaurant nestled among lush greenery and aromatic herbs. It is owned by the family of attorney Hermie Liwanag, and he tells us how he came about having another Bawai's restaurant in Metro Manila after the big success of Bawai's in Tagaytay City. The Liwanag family often hike off to Tagaytay and one of their favorite restaurants there is the Bawai's Vietnamese Kitchen. Open only on weekends by appointment and owned by a Vietnamese lady and her husband. And uh, we observed that uh, Bawai Tagaytay uh, offers uh, good quality Vietnamese food. The original Bawai's owner agreed to bring their cuisine to Manila, and here it is now in White Plains, Quezon City. And this is what families keep coming back for, especially on weekends. Attorney Liwanag's daughter, Ira, laid out this feast for all of us. First is the fresh spring rolls. Um, this contains shrimp, pork, fresh herbs such as basil, noodles, and then it's wrapped in rice paper. Rice paper, and then you can also dip it in peanut sauce. Our next best seller is the banh mi, or this is the Vietnamese sandwich. It has three kinds of pork: pate, uh, Vietnamese ham, and then it also has pork slices. The next is the kom sun cha. This is our grilled pork belly with mushroom egg pie. Um, this is very tender because it's cooked for two hours, and then you also dip it in Vietnamese patties. This is one of our best sellers. And then next is our crispy fish sauce wings. This is actually a new dish. This is mostly, we wanted it 
we wanted it to provide for the young ones. From the fresh, healthy cuisine of Vietnam that can be had at Bawai's in White Plains, we now check out what the typical Canadian cuisine is all about. In Capitolio Pasig is a new addition to the many new and exciting restaurants that now line this busy street. Business and Leisure found Main Street Restaurant, attracted by what is definitely a restaurant that is inspired by Canada's homegrown favorites. Adam Tan imbibed the Canadian way of life, including its cuisine, when he lived there. After five years, he came home bringing the familiar, comforting Canadian favorites here. It's a Canadian comfort food restaurant, uh, mostly on classics, fried chicken, uh, mac and cheese, steak, burgers. Um, we want a place where there's no pretension, it's more just simple food done right. Main Street is all of 500 square meters with two levels, three function rooms, and a big dining room. Here are their best sellers. So this is our bacon poutine. Uh, it's 230 pesos. Uh, Hand-cut fries, che uh, mozzarella cheese curd, uh, homemade bacon uh, with the beef gravy. It's, and, uh, it's 230 pesos. So this is our roasted tomato soup. Uh, we make it in-house also. We roast the tomatoes and then we, we cook it into a soup with our homemade bread. Um, 130 pesos. This is our famous buttermilk fried chicken. Uh, three pieces with mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, we marinate this for eight hours and then we fry it up. Uh, 290 pesos. And this is our spaghetti and meatball. Um, mozzarella stuffed meatball and with spaghetti and tomato sauce with garlic bread. This is 290 pesos. This is our steak and gorgonzola pizza. We make the, the, the crust, uh, the crust in-house. Um, the pizza dough in-house and this is Kita Kitayama flank steak with um, gorgonzola cheese, mozzarella cheese, balsamic reduction and arugula. Uh, I want to invite everyone to Main Street Capitolio to try our delicious Canadian food. Uh, you can reach us to 239-2827 uh, or 0995-154-1136. Uh, I'm sure you enjoy those delicious best sellers at District Comics, Bawai's Vietnamese Kitchen, Main Street Capitolio, and feel relaxed with our featured spa, the Home Ritual Spa in Quezon City. We have more best sellers from our recommended culinary destinations that we have discovered this year when we return after this short break. Stay with us, we shall be right back. automobile enthusiasts. Autofocus.com.ph is exclusive to the automobile where you'll find reviews on the latest brand new car models together with their head-to-head -head comparisons. It has the detailed specs of car models available in the country and their latest SRPs and special promos together with the latest auto industry news and developments like car launches and test drives. Autofocus.com.ph is all about automobiles. Click on
Kingdom All of Asia is inviting you all to witness the most magical and spectacular Christmas parades in the country. The Grand Festival of Lights. Catch your favorite Santa's magical friends Leo the Lion, Cyril the Squirrel, Ellie the Elephant, Benny the Bunny, Jerry the Giraffe, Haley the Hippo, Mackie the Monkey, and Hannah the Panda. Make your way to the North and South Arcades of Esumal of Asia every Saturdays of December, 5.30 p.m. Bring your whole family and friends. Merry Christmas! Welcome back once again to this week's edition of Business at Leisure with the second part of our year-end special featuring the finds and discoveries of our viewers' most viewed segment, Places. The next batch of gastronomic destinations that we shall rediscover is in Makati, Quezon City, and in Barangay Capitolio in Pasig City. Let's all find out. From Canada, let's all go to the land of milk and honey as we check out this all-American diner in Makati City. Enter the filling station 24-hour bar cafe and be transported back to the golden era of the 50s. These are real gas pumps, much like the ones used by our parents and grandparents when Shell and Esso and Mobile Gas were the brands that were much patronized. Check out Elvis in life size back in the years when he was king. The filling station was founded back in December 20 of 1992. Uh, it's the brainchild of a ex Navy chef uh, who decided to venture into the Philippines and open up this uh, American diner. Families, backpackers, um, foreigners, any uh, business people, anyone. One of the main attractions here is the vintage Cadillac. It's modified to <laughs> fit a whole family to dine. It's a 1959 Eldorado Cadillac and as uh, what Martina said earlier, the way we brought it in was through that window right over there. And here is what lovers of the American diner culture come to the filling station for. Uh, this one is the cheeseburger pizza. Um, the four for all, which is actually good for a party of four, let's say. Um, power breakfast. You need this in the morning after a good night out. <laughs> um, we have our nachos and the filling station burger. And we are actually known for our milkshakes. Um, it actually comes with a refill on the side, but it didn't fit in the table. So, yeah. And lastly, our Lucille ball. It's uh, uh, our right. newest addition. It's in the name already. Um, so <laughs> it's uh, same ingredients as a uh, of like our Think Station cheese uh, burger pizza, but um, it uses the crust of the pizza and cheese and. Uh, as well as the, uh, the meat of a uh, burger patty, which is placed um, on the side. And we have our power breakfast. So it's ham, bacon, sausages, two eggs, a hash brown, and mushroom. As for our four for all, which is really um, one of our best dishes as an appetizer, comes with calamari, uh, our Filling station chicken wings, our uh, loaded potatoes, and our Shanghai rolls, and it, it comes with their own dips as well. And we have our nachos. So this one is your typical nachos, but it comes in a variety of colors, and it's loaded with cheese. It's layered with pico de gallo, meat, jalapenos. Last but not least, we have our filling station uh, burger. So. It's your typical burger, but it's huge, so. This is indeed the quintessential American diner. What with the milkshakes, burgers, hash browns, and nachos. Here's Carlos and Christina for their personal invite to you. Hi everybody, we want to invite you to Filling Station. Um, once again, we're open 24 seven, so we can cater to your needs uh, anytime. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook under Filling Station Bar and Cafe and use the following hashtags Filling Station Bar PH, Makati, 24 Hour Diner, all the hashtags you can think of. From the fun and rowdy American diner culture, let's go for the wistful, the romantic, and nostalgic. 
Stories by Lily Pat. This is the name of this wistful restaurant in Times Street, West Triangle Homes, Quezon City. Um, there are many stories behind this place since it's an ancestral home. So it's also about the story of the people who put this all together because we have we all went through um, personal struggles, you know, and during the process, but it all turned out to be worth it in the very end. Angel Tanko runs Stories by Lilypad, which used to be their ancestral home, and she wanted to share her good memories in the restaurant and in the process create jobs as well. This fountain has actually become popular. You'll see it in a lot of Facebook and Instagram posts by our guests. So as you can see, it's a big cup composed of smaller cups. Yeah, the concept actually for this fountain is comes from the passage my cup overflows let's check out their specialties okay, so we start off with our best seller this is our god of fried chicken it's called god of fried um, because it's named after the dad god of fried of my partner Gigi he was the one who taught her the technique on how to make the um, the inside juicy and the outside very crispy but the, uh, the recipe for this one is an original of Gigi's. It also comes with a God of Fried sauce, so it's an original as well. It's a balance of saltiness, um, it's a bit sour, and also it, it has a slight kick to it. This one's another bestseller. It's our salpicao. It's beef tenderloin um, from New Zealand, sautéed in garlic mushrooms and our very own salpicao sauce. So it's served with a siding of sautéed vegetables and garlic rice. This dish is called Jakotai rice. It's one of our dishes that's becoming more popular nowadays. So Jakotai stands for Japanese Korean Thai. So it's a fusion of Asian flavors. So here you have beef sirloin in our own teriyaki sauce. There's scrambled egg and kimchi rice as well. Another best seller is our grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup. So it's best for starters or for snacks. And for the tomato soup, we use real tomatoes. And for the grilled cheese sandwich, it's special because it has our three cheese mix. Last September 8th, we launched our all-day breakfast menu. So we have traditional rice meals that include longanisa, tocino, corned beef, spam. And here in front of me is um, one of the favorites, which is beef tapa. So all of the rice meals are served with our breakfast rice, your choice of egg, and our very own salsa. Part of the all-day breakfast menu that we launch is what we call the Create Your Own Platter. We also have a variety of dessert and pastry options to offer our guests. We have uh, different drinks as well, um, coffee-based and non-coffee-based. So here we have, for example, um, Viet coffee, which can be taken iced or hot. We have traditional cappuccino. We have java jelly, matcha cheesecake. This one is our house special lemongrass tea. It can be served hot or cold. It's great both ways. It's homemade, no caffeine, all natural, no preservative. With so much waiting for you, maybe you can share your own stories right here at Lilypad. I'd like to invite you all to come to our cafe, Stories by Lilypad. It's located at 46 Time Street, West Triangle, Quezon City. There's just so much excitement and wonderful things that we have for you. So now it's time to settle back and welcome a restful Monday. This one goes by the name Love Monday Cafe. Dane Luna lived in Vietnam, where there is a rich indie cafe culture and got inspired by this. She brought this coffee culture here. Now that she loves what she is doing right now, she loves Mondays and has named her very own cafe that. Love Monday Cafe. She opened her cafe in one of the more popular foodie areas in the metro, the Capitolio area because she wanted to be a part of the scene. Dane says no to long and extensive menus for Love Monday's Cafe and sticks by the indie cafe culture of various kinds of coffee and a simple menu. 
in Vietnam in particular, they're all about coffee, they're all about their teas. Um, and people really go to the cafes to, to sit around with their friends and have drinks. Whereas in the Philippines, I guess because Filipinos, we love to eat. Um, it's really about the food and then there's also the coffee. Love Mondays can comfortably seat 35 people and here is what they offer. For the drinks, we have our ombre drinks. Um, so we have vanilla blue chai milk tea and also with coffee. And then we have the strawberry hibiscus milk tea and then with coffee. For the food, we have the breakfast burger. So the patty is made of longanisa. Um, and then we have the rosti um, with cheese, poached eggs, and garlic spam. But you can actually decide on your own toppings. We have the spamgetti, which is our own take on the Filipino spaghetti. And then we have the Korean ramyeon. Um, and also um, one of our silogs, which is the hamonado with rice and egg. Um, we have the waffle pop, cookies and cream. This one is cookies and cream. And then of course you have um, the lattes um, and the usual sort of coffee menu. Um, please visit us here at Love Monday Cafe in Capitolio and try our specialty drinks and brunch breakfast food. And now we have a special treat for the kids out there. Actually, two special treats back to back. This is Maginhawa Street in Quezon City. It has become a food hub for many people seeking new concepts in restaurants. And this is Under the Sea Cafe. This themed restaurant is clearly conceptualized as a treat for the kids who will enjoy the under the sea experience. Mothers usually bring their children for a snack for a double treat. Nakita kasi nila kung gaano ka gusto ng kids, especially ng mga students, yung mga concept restaurants. So they decided to put up something new, which is the first here in the Philippines. Indeed, they have transformed the interiors into a wonderland under the sea. The colors of blue and green are dominant here, duplicating the colors of the sea and giving it a very calming, relaxed ambiance. The place can seat 54 to 60 people, and they are open from 12 noon to 10 p.m. You can choose to sit with friends at a table or sit on comfortable cushions on the floor. Kids have a lot of fun identifying the underwater characters and enjoy having a photo shoot wearing the mermaid costumes in this giant clam. Now let's check out what they have to offer in terms of food and drinks. Ito yung mga best sellers namin dito sa Under the Sea Cafe. So we have the Chicken Teriyaki Pineapple Boat for 180 pesos. We have the Cheesy Tuna Alfredo for 150. Vanilla Mermaid Milkshake for 130. And then the Sun Bucket Cheesecake for 100 pesos. Again, we're inviting everyone to swim with us here under the sea, located at 80 Maginhawa Street, Quezon City. We're open daily from 12 noon to 10 p.m. That was Filling Station Bar Cafe in Makati. Then we went to Quezon City to check out stories by Lilipad and under the sea restaurants and went back to Barrio Capitolio in Pasig to discover Love Monday Cafe. Another set of leisure destinations after we pause for another short break. Stay stuck. Malavasia is inviting you all to witness the most magical and spectacular Christmas parades in the country. The Grand Festival of Lights. Catch your favorite Santa's magical friends Leo the Lion, Cyril the Squirrel, Ellie the Elephant, Benny the Bunny, Jerry the Giraffe. 
Haley the hippo, Mackie the monkey, and Hannah the panda. Make your way to the North and South Arcades of Esimala Asia every Saturdays of December, 5.30 p.m. Bring your whole family and friends. Merry Christmas! You're still with us here on your weekly business and lifestyle electronic magazine, Business and Leisure. We continue with our special year-ender, spotlighting some of our recommended leisure destinations featured this year on our segment, Places. A while back, we have featured a mermaid-themed restaurant in Quezon City, just perfect for little girls out there who loves Little Mermaid. This time is an exciting restaurant for all Japanese anime fans out there. We start this batch of restaurants with Mr. Roboto. That was the Under the Sea restaurant in Maginhawa Street. Remember we told you we have a back-to-back -back treat for the younger ones out there? Well, here's the second one. Imagine these images on your wall. Remember Voltus V or Mazinger Z and all their super cohorts who all belong to the robot family. They are all here on these walls and this is the restaurant that houses all of them under one roof. This is Roboto in Alabang Town Center. The very young owner of Mr. Roboto is Daniela Ramos who graduated from the Le Cordon Bleu in San Francisco. This restaurant is entirely her own creation, her own idea. We named it Mr. Bato after the song by The Sticks. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. It's an 80s band. Um, and the concept kind of just went with the theme Mr. Bato, so we decided to tie it in with the 80s mecha anime, the robots like Walter's Five, Mazinger Z. And we wanted it to be a fun place. So we play 80s music, so the whole concept is based, based around the uh, Mr. Roboto song by the Sticks. As you can imagine from the interiors, Mr. Roboto serves Japanese cuisine. So I was inspired by their food and how beautiful it looks, and I wanted to kind of do a version of it here in the Philippines, but we do it in a more playful way, kind of keeping up with the modern times. But also, um, the, the flavors are still the traditional flavors. Over here, we have our ultimate tempura. Um, it's one of our rice bowls. So it's four pieces of ebi tempura with veggie tempura, pickled veg, a soft boiled egg. So for tempura lovers, I definitely recommend. Over here, we have our lamb katsu curry. We wanted to offer curry since not a lot of Japanese restaurants for it and we wanted to do something differently and have a lamb version. Here, this is our best seller for our appetizers, it's the nori nachos. Um, what we did was we cut up seaweed and made them like chips and shredded some cani, fried that, so this is the crunchy cani you see here. And we top it with spicy salmon and pickled tuna. We have our ebi sashimi. So how we wanted to do our sashimi was have it three ways always because we want variety. So here we have a buri soy truffle, um, our spicy ebi. So we actually make a shrimp bisque and turn it into a sauce. This is kind of to match our spicy salmon and our spicy tuna, but we do it with all shrimp. And then here we have our pickled aburi. We basically did like a Japanese ceviche style. So this is our banana cream pie. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of a different version. So I brulee the top. So we just sprinkle sugar 
and torch it till it melts. Um, inside, it's layers of butterscotch pastry cream, graham cracker poveron, and fresh bananas. So if that full spread including the banana cream pie will have you rushing to the ATC, grab your bag and go. Hi everybody, um, please visit us here in Alabang at Mr. Roboto. We are in the Sykes building of Alabang Town Center. Hope to see you all here. Now that we've had the kitty visual treat, it's time for some adult stuff. Think of artisan coffee paired with excellent comfort food. Miguel Francisco Macaalay is partner and operations manager of Blue Smith Coffee and Kitchen at Greenbelt 3 in Makati. Immediately after graduation, he immersed himself in a business that is all about his passion, coffee and food. Uh, and then right after that, during the college days and even after college day, I got into coffee. And right now, Blue Smith Coffee and Kitchen is actually a marriage of the two. So we do serve both food and coffee, both of which I love very much. Blue Smith Coffee and Kitchen is a partnership with the Martin Lorenzo Group, who owned and ran the long-running Pancake House before the brand was sold to the Max's Group and Miguel's family. Miguel is totally hands-on with his joint venture with the Lorenzo Group. This is actually the third branch after the one in Pasong Tamo and Ayala the 30th, all of which have different themes. This one in Greenbelt 3 serves artisanal cocktails which are unique to them. Let's check out the other offerings. We're featuring now some of our best sellers in Bluesmith Coffee and Kitchen. One of the best seller waffles is our dark chocolate churro waffle. It's uh, a mix between churros and waffles, so it has that crunch with dark chocolate inside. This is uh, our Ube Dream Waffle, and there are a lot of Ube lovers out there, uh, myself being one. It, has, uh, it is a Belgian waffle with Ube Halaya ice cream, Ube ganache, and a lot of whipped cream. We also feature here uh, our pesto pasta, but served with country fried steak on the side. It's steak, but fried like a fried chicken, so it's very crunchy but tender. We have here the Wagyu burger steak. Everyone loves the classic burger steak from their childhood. But uh, this one is elevated because we use our homemade milk gravy and the Wagyu beef topped with caramelized onions and served with egg. We have here our salted egg chicken. So everyone also has uh, it has also been a craze to have salted egg nowadays and this is our twist on that. So it's fried chicken but with a salted egg cream. And of course, Blue Smith has to live up to their reputation of serving good coffee which they prepare all the way from grinding the select coffee beans to the resulting steaming cup of coffee. Right here we have two of our coffee beverages, a hot and an iced latte, both of which are very much balanced. And at the end here, we have two of our best-selling cocktails, the Blue Smith Gin Tonic and the Tribute to Basi Revolt. Noteworthy that actually we use the Ilocano Basi as an alcohol here because we also want to show our customers that we don't need to use expensive and imported liquor to have good artisanal cocktails. Our next feature for you is quite unique. It combines a wide range of food options with an outdoor cinema. A new concept here indeed. We see them in all the major areas in the metropolis and this week we visited this one in Timok Avenue called the Yard Street Food Cinema and sat down with one of the owners, Anna Barbara Soriano. Anna Barbara Soriano and her siblings own and run the Yard Street Food Cinema which opened only in November 2017. Inside, there are 25 stalls, each offering something unique and different. But what is curious is that each and every one of them offers something that is related to cinema. Rain or shine customers flock here because these waterproof parachutes were provided by the owners to protect them from the elements. These thirst quenchers are a perfect example of relating their offerings to the cinema. One has to wear the gloves and costume of Iron Man to smash the balloon and enjoy this drink made of rum and mint. As for their hot food... 
baby back ribs with three cheese that melted with this torch and sweet corn. This is their carbonara bulalo, served with loads of mushrooms. And this is their other best seller, which is called the kofta ball pasta. So it has meatballs with mozzarella inside. And this one is pasta that comes in a neat cone for easy takeout. It comes with a white sauce, has an egg in the middle, and has lots of bacon bits for flavor. This is the specialty of pipa. So they serve uh, what you call fried pizza. So I love this one because it's really crispy. It's called Lily Collins Pizza. And it's really affordable. It's only 270 and you can share it with your family and friends. This next dish is a big serving of a giant squid and barbecue. Check out too this crispy ramen with a sausage inside. And for their desserts, they have this chimney donut cone with Oreos. So come check out this latest food park in the metro. I would like to invite everyone to come visit us here at the yard. It's located here in Timog in front of Laugh Line. So it's very accessible. And please uh, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. We will round off the second part of our year-end special, spotlighting the 2017 Leisure Discoveries in our segment places as we take our final break. Stay with us. We shall be right back. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. SM All of Asia is inviting you all to witness the most magical and spectacular Christmas parades in the country. The Grand Festival of Lights. Catch your favorite Santa's magical friends Leo the Lion, Cyril the Squirrel, Ellie the Elephant, Benny the Bunny, Jerry the Giraffe, Haley the Hippo, Mackie the Monkey, and Hannah the Panda. Make your way to the North and South Arcades of Esumal of Asia every Saturdays of December, 5.30 p.m. Bring your whole family and friends. Merry Christmas! Welcome back once again here with our part two of our Places Year-End Special. And we continue with the last batch of culinary destinations that we have discovered in 2017. We are nearing the finish line, the second part of our year-end special on places. And what better way to cap our special treat for you with not one, but two specialty Italian restaurants. Here they are. This is the newest Italian restaurant in town, Mamma Mia! From the choice of name down to well-appointed and decidedly Italian interiors and of course their specialty dishes, there is no doubt that this is not your ordinary Italian food restaurant. Julius Iapita with a purely Italian dad and a Filipino mom runs this family-owned restaurant. He grew up in Italy watching his dad a restaurateur and eating good old-fashioned Italian food. They own other Italian restaurants here like Tony and Serio in McKinley and Parmigiana Ristorante in Alabang and Resorts World. We want to capture the family and the yappies. I, I believe because it's the perfect for the restaurant, the bar and the restaurant, Mamma Mia. Come lunch and dinner time, this is a family-oriented restaurant. But after dinner, it takes on another more exciting vibe as it transforms into a vibrant bar. Let's check out what Chef Salvatore of Mamma Mia has in store for us. And uh, let's start with the carbonara. Carbonara, uh, we have a two versions of carbonara. The traditional one, 
which is the, the regular carbonara but we give a little bit a modern twist with the ma carbonara mamma mia which is the sharing portion with the uh, crust with the parmesan cheese on top and we bake in the oven uh, as you can see we can do solo portion and we can do sharing portion so all the family can come and uh, they can really taste and share our carbonara for our specialty chicken we call it mama's roasted chicken we have a half portion which is 375 and for the whole portion around 750 pesos then we go with the pizza pistacchio and mortadella it's with the cream pistacchio from italy and mortadella from italy this is a very innovative pizza uh, mamma mia restaurant is different from other restaurants other restaurants have the same cookie cutter menu we totally different we have our homemade gelato we, we produce several flavors coffee cafe latte pistachio vanilla and others and at the end a good italian we have our espresso at the end of each dinner lunch or dinner please I would like to invite everyone to see us at Mamma Mia and look for me, Chef Salvatore, the news. And as promised, it's a back-to-back -back treat of Italian cuisine that we are bringing to you con gusto. This is Amare la Cucina, a restaurant owned and run by Edmark Bustos, a nurse by profession from Baguio, but at heart, a chef who truly has a passion for cooking. In his own words, he graduated from the University of YouTube, where he got hooked on the cuisines of the world. Amare la Cucina is his baby now, which he runs with his wife. In Italian, it means love the kitchen, and that is what he does every day. Their first branch was in Baguio City. We were surprised na ang dami naming customers na, para, na taga rito na umakit sa Baguio at pumila sila. Most of them are saying that they are very thankful that they don't need to go up to Baguio and fall in line and eat in our, um, in our branch. So. In the second branch in Capitolio, Pasig, he offers not just Italian food but also the Amare la Cucina experience. For the first time, you can make your own pizza. For the first time, our pizza makers will teach you to toss the dough, put the toppings, cook in the oven, look at it for two minutes. This large brick oven is where they finish off the tender ribs that they offer, along with other oven-baked Italian treats. When you're in Capitolio hankering for good old Italian food, check them out. We are located in front of the Church of Mary Immaculate Church of Capitolio. Um, we would let you try for the first time to toss the pizza and make your own pizza and watch it literally to be cooked in our group parody. See you. We have just concluded the second part of the year-end special that we have prepared for you here on your favorite segment of the leisure portion of BNL. If you watched parts one and two of this year ender, you would have counted 34 establishments, a mix of restaurants, wellness centers, hotel and resort establishments, and specialty stores. That was how busy our roving BNL crew was in 2017. As 2018 looms around the corner, we hope the new year brings joy and wellness, good health, and may add good eats. Here's to more wonderful discoveries in 2018 that we can share with you. Until the next time, this has been your host, Ray Butch Gamboa. Good business to all and enjoy the good life. A happy new year to all of you.